in our morning rounds, unleashing a new weapon in the fight against cancer. An FDA panel is meeting this morning to decide whether to recommend the first government-approved gene therapy. CAR T cell treatment uses the body's own immune system to attack cancer. It has shown impressive results in clinical trials against blood cancers like leukemia and lymphoma. Our Dr. David Agus leads the USC Westside Cancer Center. He is in Los Angeles. Uh, Dr. Agus, good morning. Why would this be so significant? Good morning, Jeff, and happy birthday. <laughs> this Thank is you. the first living drug. It's a pretty amazing new treatment where they take the white cells out of a child with cancer, they send them to New Jersey, and they put in a gene to reprogram these cells to attack the cancer. They're sent back to where the child is and infused, and about 80% of these children go into remission. It was first tried 12, uh, five years ago in a six-year-old named Emily, and she's still cancer-free today. So I know it combats blood cancer, but how are the healthy cells spared? So in this case, the, the, the child has failed all standard treatments for leukemia. So they're literally at death's door. And so in this case, there's no other treatments. And they knock down her own healthy T cells and then put them back, these new T cells that target the cancer. They also target some of the normal cells in the body. And one of the issues that's going to happen in the panel meeting today is the FDA is going to say, what's the long-term ramifications? We only have the five years since Emily started treatment. We don't have any further data. So this is going to be a whole new area of treatment. But because the benefits so outweigh the harms, at least initially, it's probably going to get FDA approval. Yeah, what are some of the, the harms, David, and what about the cost? Well, they're both two great questions. So the harms are real, is that when you put in all these T cells that are turned on, the patients many times go into a significant distress syndrome. It can affect the brain and other parts of the body. Mm -hmm. Nobody has died from the treatment. And remember, this cancer is definitely lethal within weeks to months. So the side effects are real. The cost. The analysts are estimating that it'll cost three to six hundred thousand dollars for one treatment. Wow. So this is a one-time treatment that can put the cancer into remission, but staggering costs. You know, recurrent leukemia or leukemia that is not responding to treatment is rare in children. About 90% of kids are cured with conventional chemotherapy. But in these other children, this is a lifesaver. Well, it's great to see medicine continuing to advance and, and save people's lives. Dr. David Agos, thank you, as always, for joining us. Thank you.